Today I'm going to show you how we get from dirty, mucky fleece to a ball of wool that we can knit with. This fleece has been out in the shed so it's all kind of compacted at the moment and you'll see that it's kind of mucky in places. The first thing I have to do is open it up and take out all the bits of straw, dead flies and the yuckiest bits. Those bits that I'll be getting rid of, they're going to go into my compost heap. And now I'm putting it in some hot soapy water. Now that's a very gentle detergent meant just for wool. And I'm not going to stir it around and just make sure it's gone under the, the surface. And I'm going to leave it there now in the big tub. So you see all the dirt coming out of the fleece, leaving the fleece white soft and once it's dry pretty fluffy. Here you can see some of my washed fleece sitting out on a rack outside to dry in the little bit of sunshine and the soft breeze. So I tease out some of the fleece and I put it in with the fibres pointing along the way and I turn. Teasing it out and popping it in to the carder. And I turn the handle, this goes in and gets embedded in the pins on the big drum. You see, here is a point where there's no pins, just here, and I take this tool and slip it in along here and I can lift up the, the wool and then I can pull this away in one big piece and turn the handle and pull away the fleece So I have two separate threads here and I'm letting the twist travel along those so that it twists the two of them together and it makes a, a two-ply yarn. The bobbin is full now and you'll see I have the two threads gently spun together and this is the thickness of um, what I know as double knitting and I'd knit with this on a 3.75 or a 4 millimeter knitting needle. We can have a look at the evolutionary journey from the yellow mucky fleece 
to the the washed fleece um, and then the clean fleece after it's been carded and is ready to spin. And here's our single spun yarn and then next is the bobbin with the two threads spun together to make a two ply a double knitting weight yarn. After that we wind the yarn into a skein and then we can dye it or do whatever we want with it at that stage and then we can wind that into a ball. Here's a ball rolled up on my fingers ready to knit.